In the previous video, we learned how to work with headers in route handlers. In this video, we will learn how to work with cookies in route handlers. Cookies are small pieces of data that a server sends to a user's web browser. The browser may store the cookie and send it back to the same server with later requests. Cookies are mainly used for three purposes. Session management, like logins and shopping cards. Personalization, like user preferences and themes. And tracking, like recording and analyzing user behavior. You can learn more about cookies on MDN, but with this introduction in mind, let's return to VS Code and understand how to use them inside a Next.js route handler. Just like in the previous video, our primary goal is to learn how to set and get cookies inside of a route handler. Now, there are two approaches to both setting and getting cookies. To set a cookie, the first option is to return a new response using the set cookie header. So after content type, set cookie, key is going to be theme and value is going to be dark. If we now go back to Thunder Client, and switch to the cookies section, you can see we have no cookies available. After making the get request, we see the theme cookie being set. Theme is the name, dark is the value. Now to read this cookie in our route handler, we can make use of the request parameter. So const theme is equal to request.cookies dot get and the cookie name is theme. We can then log to the console theme. Back in Thunder Client, send the request and in the terminal, we should see the cookie name value pair being logged. Name is theme, value is dark. Now this is the first approach to set and get cookies in a route handler using the set cookie header and the request object. The second option is to set and get cookies using the cookies function provided by Next.js. Let's import it at the top. Import headers, comma, cookies from next headers. Now to set a cookie, we can invoke cookies, which is a function dot set Let's call this results per page. And the value is 20. Back in Thunder Client, send a request, and we should see the new cookie results per page with a value of 20. To read this cookie, we can use cookies, which is a function, dot get, and we specify results per page. Go back to Thunder Client, send the request, and in the terminal, we should see the value 20 with the path of home page. Now, apart from set and get, the cookies function supports other methods like has, delete, and so on. Please refer to the documentation for more information. All right, that covers working with cookies in route handlers. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.